Are we filming? Yes, we are. So, welcome. Welcome to another of my videos. Um, this one is uh, quite uh, eclectic, but uh, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy it as I share with you another Filofax modification. And this refers to pen loops. Um, I think we need to go back to the beginning. Um, because I, I have a, uh, I have had and continue to have a love hate relationship with pen loops on binders. Um, I, uh, my, my weapon of choice, as, as regular viewers will know, is a Pilot G2, which is, uh, cheap, plentiful. I get through about maybe 50 of these a year. So quite, quite, uh, quite a lot of them. Um, but I find that I have to modify them. So to get into to to use them in a pen loop, I have to cut the uh, the blue bit off here, the blue plastic, and then that slips into a standard pen loop. Okay, but some it's still a little bit tight. Some a little bit is uh, some some are uh, um, uh, too loose. So, albeit, <coughs> excuse me, albeit uh, we know that um, the, uh, the, the, the Filofax pen loop is a fairly standard size, although there are exceptions. Um, the, the, the problem is that there are some variations, and as you use them, the, uh, the, uh, the, if, if it is leather, and, and a lot of them are leather, there, t there tends to be an element of stretching over time. And also, critically, there is a major as far as I'm concerned, a major problem with many Filofax pen loops. And and that has I've talked about this in, in in one or two videos before. And that is if you have a snub nosed pen like this um this fountain pen here, this this uh which one is this? This is my Lamy. Um this this uh edge can snag pen loops which are made out of a very thin piece of leather and then folded over and sewn inside. So there's a ridge inside and this can catch. It's not so bad if you're using a, um, a pointy uh, a pointy pen like this. But if you're, use, if you're doing a modification like I do, and I, I know that I may be the only person that does this, but uh, you've got a ridge here, you've got a ridge here, and you've got a ridge here, and this ridge here can snag so you can put it in, but it can't come out. It's almost like one of those those um, medieval lobster pots. Um, uh, it can't come out. So, <clears throat> lots of problems, and unless you, uh, and uh, you know, if, if you're using a, if you try and stretch the leather a bit, then... Um, you may not be able to go back again to using a slimmer pen when that decision arises in the future. So, um, I, uh, I've been thinking about this. I've been thinking about this for a while and I've done a little experiment. Um, I, what, what prompted me to do this experiment? Well, I mean, I'm waffling here, but, but, Bear, bear with me, about three, four minutes, and I'm still. I, you're saying to me, get to the point, Neil. Get to the point. But you can zoom. You can, uh, you can fast forward, if you wish. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll I'll add chapters to this video, so so that you can, in fact, do that. Um, however, uh, this 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 uh, this came to me when I was using uh, a few days ago my, uh, my my current EDC as a Guildford Mini Extra Slim, which regular viewers will know is the smallest Filofax ever made by Filofax. Doesn't have a pen loop. And for some reason, I did not have a writing implement. So I what I did, I had to type out laboriously a, a memo on my phone which which is fine but it, I much prefer um, 
Uh, as a as a bit of a bit of a luddite, I much prefer writing. There's nothing quite like writing on a piece of paper, a note or a memo that you can refer to later on, as we know. Um, so, as some of you will know, I uh, I've um, I've I've gone through a, a series of EDCs of, of file effects that I will carry in my pocket. The first one was actually this one. It's a, it's a pocket size Kensington, uh, which is a fantastic design, and the the, the quality is superb. Uh, Kensington models are, are are I I regard them in high regards. The the, the leather is fantastic. Um, and uh, it, it was just as, the pocket size was slightly too big, and that's why I, I've sort of migrated to the mini sizes. And before that, um, before I used the mini size, I was a big fan of the M2, which is like this. Um, uh, it's a three ring, a three ring um, uh, binder uh, that was uh, only. Uh, only available for a very short time. It, it sort of copied the the the, the three ring the three ring mulberry, and then Filofax dropped dropped the format completely. Um, uh, but that was pretty good as a as a as a wallet. But the three rings are a little bit flimsy, I would say. Um, however, um, I then got into mini sized mini side file of faxes and and ended up with a uh a portland mini portland again sensational quality binder uh not an english made one but uh but absolutely sensational quality and one i i i value and rate and recommend very very highly indeed this leather is uh, so it's it's described as tumbled leather. I don't really know. I need to find out what tumbled leather means, but it's very very nice all the way up the range from the mini to the Portland Grands, which which is a which is a personal size with thirty millimeter rings. Excellent, excellent, excellent quality. Sensational, I would say. Um, and I've I've used this. I've been using this as a wallet without without uh, any paper. It's fine. It does have, it does, and I'm conveniently hiding it with my hand because uh, all will be revealed. So um, <clears throat> I've been thinking about this because I uh, um, I think I'll always be carrying my, my Guildford Mini Extra Slim because it, because the format is so, so good, you know. Uh, any, any, even a mini sized Filofax with a pen loop can snag a pocket. It, it's the ease of access to ex extricate it and replace in a pocket, a jacket pocket or a jeans pocket, is always going to be slightly, uh, slightly more tedious than a, a mini Filofax in mini size that doesn't have a fastener or pen loop. But the the the, the Portland does. And I have modified it, and I really, really like the the effect. So, let me show you what I've done. Um, but first of all, let me show you what I also use uh, to write with. So, I do use a a, a Pilot G two uh, quite often. Um, it's my weapon of choice. But I also use. I've got a I've got a collection. I've got several of these Kaweco Sports fountain pens, and they are they are so small. I I keep them in my pocket. There is a small chance of a leak, but I'm prepared to take that risk. That these ones you can you can modify, so that you could potentially, so long as you use some grease, you can take out. You can take out the cartridge and just literally fill the body with ink and just replace it in there. And so you've got a fantastic um, writing implement that would last a long time. But 
Uh, I don't want to do that in case the, the, uh, there is some unfortunate leakage, as it were. Uh, but I do like the, the, the way these write. They're super smooth. They've, it's a German gold plated nib. Super, super, super tactile to write with. And I've got a collection of these. I've got a, got a, um, I've got a silver one and a green and a, a like a, carbon fiber print one and a brown one and uh they're nice just, just a nice writing tool um but this is what i've done this is what i've done so you can see that uh this uh, this fits the pen loop now i bet you're asking yourself how on earth did so i just use this uh this is just uh paper that i but i'm using uh, as a memo it that's the reason why it's upside down because i'm not interested it's a out of date diary okay so pen loop um it's fitting the actual width of the, the not not the not the, the the bottom bit the writing bit but the actual screw top how did i manage to do that because it's obviously, this is much, much wider than the standard. So this, this Lamy is equivalent to the width of a, a, a standard pen loop. And here we are. Let me just, let me just do that. Am I, can we do it like this? There we go. So you can see that there is a massive, massive difference in diameters here. And yet, yeah, here we go. The camera doesn't lie. Um, I've managed to get it on there. How did I achieve that? What I did, I soaked. I soaked the leather, not the whole file of hacks. I soaked the leather in a glass of water uh, for 24 hours. And then with care, I fitted the cap of the fountain pen. And then I let it dry for a week. Um, well, a few days anyway. Um, and I'm sure I could take it out, but it's, it's there maybe f in perpetuity. I mean, it doesn't really matter because the, the top I could use, I could use, uh, I, I tend to use different colors. Uh, but the one I've, I've experimented with the green one because I, I don't generally, uh, the, the, the green Kaweco sport is the one that I use the least. So I thought it'd be worth experimenting. And this is what I do. So if I want to use the pen, I don't take the whole thing out. This is really, really solid. I don't have to worry about slippage or importantly, the fact that this is one of those Filofax pen loops where it's made of very thin leather and then it's folded over and stitched inside so that there is the possibility of slagging, sla slagging, snagging. With this, you don't have to worry about the pen loop anymore because the pen loop, it no longer becomes the interference um, uh, denominator, if you like. Uh, it's just permanently until unless you wish to move it it's permanently holding the the fountain pen and then when i want to use the fountain pen i just open it the cap stays there and then i can i can write in my file of facts okay no need to demonstrate that and then when i've finished i just put it in screw it up and there we go now has this changed my life? Not really, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, the tactile, the tactile experience of using a fountain pen when you're on the road or in the high street or in a coffee shop cannot be denied for many people, including me, including me. And I do carry a couple of other things. I do, I do tend to carry a Pilot G2 if I'm wearing a jacket. Uh, then that's quite easy, um, but um, there are there's there are many occasions where one of these pens is a bit of a pain to carry in a in a pocket, and so you end up maybe carrying it in a bag, or or in my case, my backpack, my rucksack, if you like, rather than a rather than a bag. But um, 
lots of people, male and female, will know what I'm talking about when it comes to carrying a pen. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a faff to have to reach for your file effects and then reach for your pen, which is somewhere else on your person, in a in a in a pocket or in your bag or whatever. Um, and so. I do quite like this. I do quite like this, this new, uh, this this uh, this kind of is is an is a. It opens out new tactile possibilities. I, I mean, I've I've, I do enjoy the fact that this is all one piece now. Um, it's a bit of a tight fit with the uh, with the with the um, strap, but. Uh, with a little bit of water, I could extend this strap, put a bit of pressure and tension on that, and uh, and then no doubt I could I could um, ex uh, stretch the the uh, the strap well. But because I don't use any any uh, dividers, I can easily just push my push my file my 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 pen my Koeko pen in like that, and then the strap will fit perfectly well and you know that's that looks good and if i if i just rotate it that's fine obviously the kueko pen is perfect it's a perfect fit in terms of height for a mini filofax and if i if i put it this way you can see that to all intents and purposes the th the fact that the pen is sort of held within the, the 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 leading edges of the leather binder it's barely any thicker here than it is at the hinge uh, or the uh, or the or the rings if you like so it's it's actually a nice working tool and that is something that uh, I'm a big fan of I like to see with very few exceptions um some really collectible filofaxes that i have for for various purposes well because you just cannot have too many filofaxes that that is the rule isn't it um this is very much a working tool that has been enhanced by i think this um this use of the the filofax pen top being held captive by a deliberately um, stretched uh, pen loop. Now, this, if it gives anybody inspiration to experiment with their Filofax with personal size ones, perhaps with their with their personal sized um, uh, fountain pen, well, give it a go. Let me know in the comments whether you thought that was a good idea. But essentially, the way I've managed to in, to accommodate a much larger pen, if you like, is is through some water and some time, and then some stretching. And uh, um, it it seems to have uh, done the the job. So I'm very, very pleased with that. If you enjoyed my video, then uh, please leave me a like. I, I do like that. It's very gratifying. And if you have any thoughts or comments about what I've done, the modification, uh, then 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 let me know and I will comment. I might even uh, share your comments on uh, a forthcoming podcast episode. So thank you very much for for watching and listening and until my until my next uh, video goodbye <laughs>